Hi, I'm Nick Hopkins, Heavy Equipment oper Operator and Engineer in Training here at Deep Creek Construction School. Today I'm going to show you the six considerations for moving things. I have my object up over here, I'm going to move it over there. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure my path is clear. People can get hurt if they uh, pick something up and they trip over another object if they didn't make sure their path was clear. The second thing I'm going to do is size up my load. Um, this looks like something I can handle by myself, but if it was any bigger, maybe I could ask for help or have uh, a forklift come in or have something help me move it. Uh, a lot of people have been hurt because they've tried to pick up an object that was too heavy for them. The third thing I'm going to do is grab it while on one knee. A lot of people have been hurt grabbing an object, going straight down, lifting straight up. Um, so I'm going to grab it on one knee. I'm going to hold it close to my body. The fourth thing I'm going to do is roll back and push up. If you notice, I brought up my object at a 45 degree angle instead of going straight up. A lot of people have been hurt going straight up because it's nearly seems twice as heavy as it really is. Fourth thing I'm gonna, or the fifth thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn onto my feet, not with my trunk. A lot of people have been hurt turning with their trunk, and twisting their back in the wrong way. The sixth thing I'm going to do is place it properly. Many people have been hurt after placing their object. Maybe it can fall and you reach to grab it since it wasn't placed properly, and you can hurt your back doing that as well. Those are my six considerations for moving things. Thank you.